everyone! Today I'm starting a series of short videos on how to use triggers in Evolve. And the first tutorial in the series I decided to build on my other video about text variables. If you haven't watched it yet, the link is in the top right corner. Here you see two examples of using a text variable. The first one has an inline feedback that the user gets when they submit their answer. Note that you can't use the variable in the inline feedback. If you want to use a username in your feedback, like I've done here, you'll need to set up another component and use a trigger. And that's what I'm going to show you now. Let's add a text area component and set it up. Go to text area and remove the inline feedback. Change the text input area too. Now go to behavior and set up a variable. Again, if you don't know how to do it, watch the suggested video. Let's test it. You can see that I submitted my name and there is no feedback. Now let's create this feedback. Add another component. Go to its settings and add some text and variable. This is the default value of my username variable. Before we move to setting up a trigger, I'll change the block name to make it easier to find. And we also need to hide the block because we want it appear after the user submits their name. Now go to logic, add a trigger, for event field choose variable changed because it is going to trigger the feedback component. Condition, in other words, what should happen with the variable? It should not be equal to an empty space. And actions, what needs to happen? Show hidden blocks and choose the block you want to reveal. Let's see how it works. I hope you find this video useful. In the next videos, I'll show how to work with other kinds of variables and triggers. It's just the beginning. Stay tuned. Cheers.